Hello and welcome back to Kirsty's Life in Art. Um, today um I anyone joining me. I'm literally um doing this by myself. Um it is ridiculously hot um where I'm living. It's probably hot where you are too. Um so if you're watching, I hope you're watching inside. Um we're gonna do a beach watercolour today for Thankful Thursday because um I don't know about you but I'm definitely thankful for the beach and the breeze um that's that we have um by the sea if you live by the sea. You would like to tell me um what you're thankful for, then you're more than welcome. But first of all we're gonna start off with this with the um with the sea just do a light a very I'm just, basically what I'm doing is I'm mapping out where I'm gonna be putting my um my sky basically you guys can see that If you are saying say if you are watching, say hi. I think I would also say I'm thankful for friends and family. Um especially during what um COVID has been. Um Okay, so I'm doing um so I'm doing this this is where the sky is and um then you wanna go in with a um a darker blue. Um I'm gonna choose a different sized brush, I'm gonna use my smaller brush. Um you wanna go in with a darker blue and you wanna start sort of mapping out oh, that's a bit too dark. Mapping out where your um where your uh, clouds are going to sit. Afternoon, Caroline. How are you? I've come on a little bit early slash late. I was supposed to be on at two, but I'm still waiting for my baked potato to cook. As you can see, I'm just um, doing my my sky and mapping out where all my clouds are going. Okay, I'm going to get my bigger brush again. I'm not going to put it in any water. I'm literally just going to go over it and blend it out a little bit. Caroline, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful. I'm also thankful that um the technology is working today. It wasn't working so well yesterday. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Part of it's working okay. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know whether you guys can see my um my clouds there. Obviously, if you want more clouds, then you can um obviously add more clouds in. But there are my clouds. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um gonna work from the bottom. Just been practicing with my new thing. Ah, oh, cool, Caroline. Um. 
yeah send me a picture um and i'll put it on our on my facebook facebook and instagram okay so i'm going to start from my boss from the bottom and work my way up now so i'm going to be um mixing um a sand color so i've got like a lighter brown and then like i'm going to pop a bit of orange in there as well just a little bit and then i'm just gonna again just map out where i'm gonna put my my sand See where my sand's going. Again, I am only a beginner at this. I did actually watch a tutorial on um the best way to do a um scene like this. I'm thankful being able to renew my plaster. Oh, lovely Caroline. Again, so can you see that's where I've mapped out my 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 sand. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with some more blue, but I'm gonna make it a turquoisey blue. So I'm gonna mix the two colours together. Like an emerald, emerald green in the sea. You guys can see emerald. I think I'm gonna have to add some more emerald in. Yeah, emerald. There you go. Again, you just wanna map out where it is. I'm going to leave a line and I'll show you what I'm going to leave that line for in a minute. Hope you guys can see that all right. You'll leave a thin line. And then I'm going to make it a bit darker towards the back. So it gives that illusion. I'm just going to pop a little bit more. Just some dark dark bits here. I am going to get my um, dark dark blue and I'm going to pop in a horizon line. Can you see the horizon line guys? Just popping in the horizon line. There's my horizon line. You see my horizon line? So um, then I'm going to grab some more blue. Then I'm sort of going to just do a few sort of it's here. I'm going to grab my big brush now. And then they're going to bleed in together. Like 
Okay, I'm gonna grab some of the orange and sort of pop it into the sea a little bit because the shallow end, the shallow end is um has got a bit of that the sand that goes in it. I'm gonna make it more brown, I think. Anybody else really, really hot today? Like, it is crazy. I got my sand colour here. Can you see my sand colour? There's my sand colour. I'm just going to go up a bit into the sea a little bit. Don't worry, guys, I will be bringing it together. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but I will be bringing it together. Too hot to function. Yes, I agree. Gonna get some more and I'm gonna pop it in there. There we go. Yeah, I went out into the garden just to hang the washing out and I like I mean I know it's not hard for me to get burned, but this was something else that was crazy. Okay, can you see that, guys? So now what I'm going to do, so this is the sand, and then you've got the horizon line. I'm going to make the horizon line, again, a bit more obvious. So you guys can... you see that? That's the horizon line. There we go. It needs to be a bit more, so you can see my horizon. So I need to do in the back, I need to like up here, I need to um, do some like dark colours up here um, because obviously down here is lighter. So um, this is like further out to sea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this colour. Just go along. The, the edge there. Back again. Oh, is your internet going up again? <laughs> Can you see that, guys? can see that like far out to sea you know there's it's darker obviously that doesn't look very pretty at the moment um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend this line here with just some water i'm going to flood my paintbrush again my big one and then i'm just gonna go Um, just gonna blend it all just down a little bit. Obviously, I don't want to blend it really far down.
but I do want to blend it a little bit now. Just going to pop a bit of more colour on this section. Just going to use some more. Looks like waves coming into the shore, can you see? Let's do another bit up here so you guys can get the full effect. Okay, now I'm going to get a smaller painter. Because now I've done my my beach, my sea, um, the horizon and my um sky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white. Load up my white paintbrush. I'm just going to. Do some, do some sort of, it's hard to explain, I'm sort of doing a, like, ticks in it, just to give the picture some um, texture. Because obviously, when the waves are rolling in, they look like little ticks. But I'm especially going to do it at the end here. So it actually like you see that vibe? It's really cool, isn't it? Sort of go along. Thanks, Carolina. You see that, guys? It's really cool, isn't it? Um, what I'm gonna do. Um, that's where it needs to be. I'm gonna take it a bit higher up as well. Again, it just gives the um the picture some um texture. I might do. I might not get these to be a bit more. As you can tell, guys, this is literally just um this is experimental, <laughs> but pretty good for experimental, I would say. Yeah, you need the light, you need to get it really light towards the end, like light in colour. You can almost hear the sea in my picture. Oh, wow, Caroline. <laughs> that is a compliment and a half. Thank you. As I said, just keep working at it. Hello, Roberta, how are you? Long time no see. Excuse the pun. I'm doing puns now. 
You spent too much time around me and Nick, it's starting to rub off on you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've done this, I've done the um the beach. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with um another sort of layer for the beach. Um because it, it compared to everything else, uh, it doesn't actually look um all that great. So I'm gonna go back in with another layer of my beach colour. See that? And um I've allowed it to dry a little bit um before going in again. I want to make sure it goes all the way up. Just basically place your um your sand colour where you had your previous sand colour. Just basically giving it another last of colour, which is perfect. So now I'm going to do the same with the um, sky. A smaller paintbrush because I'm not, I'm just doing like lines just to give it a bit more of a sky feel, you know what I mean? And you can see my, my clouds there. Can you see my clouds? along the top you can see you can see the um the sky starting to um have more color more depth of color You can see the sky in there. I've got one, two, three, four, five little clouds. I'm going to get some emerald green. Right. Again, just tiny, 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 tiny. Again, you want to fade it out. See that? Fading it out. Just adding another sort of layer to your picture. I'm going to actually bring this down. 
I can see in my other camera what it looks like to you guys. So, um, when you're doing it close up is one thing. When you're doing it like far away, when you can see it far away, um, that's another thing. So, I think that's my emerald done. I'm gonna get my bl my brush again. Not too wet. I'm literally blending it out. Blending, blending, blending. Lots and lots of blending. Blending it with the blue as well at the top, not just the bottom. If you don't want to get like here, you can see like here, you can see like a stripe. You want to blend it out rather than add a stripey piece of artwork. Not what you're looking for. Again, you can see the sort of the white here. Um, and then I'm going to get some blue actually and just bring this down a little bit. Bring the blue down a little bit. Bring it down. Doesn't have to be the same kind of blue. Again, now you want to blend it in like that. Again, I'm going to go in with some white and just do another layer of this. Going along, but in the way the frost, the foam from the waves. I think that's what it's called. I don't really know what it's called, to be honest. But yeah. What do you guys think of my artwork? Then I go down here and do a bit of okay. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um a little sunshine because when you go to the beach, um hopefully it will be thanks Pixie, um it will ho hopefully be sunshine. So I'm just I'm just gonna do Little sunshine in the corner. You're improving all the time. Thanks. That's really nice to hear. I think it does definitely come with practice. Like it really does come with practice because I wasn't like at the beginning, I would not have been able to do this. Trust me. So then I'm gonna get some a different colour yellow and I'm just gonna you can't really see it because I'm leaning across. Sorry guys. Just do a few of the lines coming from the sun. The rays of sun. Because it's absolutely important that way. Also, I would recommend um, if you are wanting to do this um, type of watercolour, um, between the sort of stages, so I showed you the um the sky, um then the sea, uh, sky and sand and the sea. 
Um, I would wait until it's dry between the stages um, because it's just easier. Um, than having, to, but then like it will still blend. It will still blend out. Cartoon characters. That's a good idea, Pix. I think I will have to practice. Um, and then yeah, maybe. Um, okay. So I've done the sky. I'm gonna do a couple of birds in the sky because again. I'm going to do them black so they stand out a bit. Um, it's going to put one here. I'm only going to do a couple so I don't want to over do it. And one here. I'm going to do one more, I think. I'll put one. There. Again, with this, you can add um, your own um, personal bits and pieces to it. Um, if you wanted to add like a deck chair here or a sandcastle or you wanted to put a lilo in the sea or a boat or whatever you wanted to do, um, that's, that's fine. That's entirely up to you. Um, I've literally only just um, come on to do my... Um, beach thing um just to show you how easy it is to do um literally a few steps um as i said you do the sky you map out where you do the sky then you do the sand then you do the horizon and then you do the sea um again mix the colors up have fun with it play with it guys mix the blues and the emeralds and the greens mix the yellows for the sand um mix the blues for the sky um you don't have to have um a blue um uh horizon line you could have a sunset so um what you would do for that is you would um do instead of a blue line you would have um like uh orange or red or whatever color you choose line across here um and then you would sort of do a sunshine up here somewhere um I've chosen to do my stand up there um, because I don't know, it just looks cool. But um, I hope you guys are okay um, and have enjoyed my art. Please stay cool. Please start drinking loads of water. Um, I'm hoping, I'm praying for some rain um, tomorrow or at the weekend because my plants are definitely dying um, without the without the rain. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go off and uh, water my plants now and also go and chill out in front of the TV because it is so hot. Stay safe, don't get sunburnt like me, and um, I will see you tomorrow for Fabulous Friday. Goodbye and God bless.